Working on a J series Honda V6 head. Doing the uh, exhaust valve stem seals here. You can see them right here. Actually, I've already pulled them off. There's um, uh, on this side, it's already been placed in. This one's missing one, this one, and then this one here. What they look like, uh, what do they look like? I don't even know what they look like. They look like this. That's what they look like. This is what they look like. So if you guys are going this far into the engine and doing valve stem seals, my best recommendation to you is once you get everything back together on the engine and you have the time belt on and everything's lined up, go ahead, adjust your valves. Don't leave that to chance if you're going this deep into it. Always, always, always adjust your valves. Uh, the reason we're doing this is engine was experiencing uh, smoke. Owner complained that uh, he would be at a red light or a stoplight and um, he'd be sitting there for a second, you know, however long a red light is. You know, put the accelerator on, accelerator on, start to go, and white smoke would come out. So typically what happens is the seals in here just wear out over time and oil goes down there. Oil will sleep past the seal and it'll pile up on the cylinder and when you start to go it just burns it off. So, But that's different than constant white smoke. Constant white smoke is typically a blown head gasket. But there are some other tests you can run to determine if it's a blown head gasket or not. But I just want to show you what I do to install these things. So you have one right here. And then I have uh, some Mobile One grease that I'll use. I'll put the grease on the, on the stem that's coming up and then I'll put it on the seal as well. And then uh, push it as, far, as hard as I can with my finger. And if that doesn't seat it into place, then I'll just get a 10 millimeter, uh, what is it? Quarter inch, 10 millimeter long deep socket and a little hammer and uh, push it in the rest of the way. You actually feel when these sit into place, I don't want to say it clicks into place, it just kind of, you'll, yeah, you'll feel it. It's more of a feel thing kind of thing. So there, I'm just getting it on the stem itself here. Now when I say hammer, I'm talking like a little penny hammer, not anything crazy like a sledgehammer or anything. These aren't hard at all. If you're going this far into the engine, this is a very simple, uh, very simple item to replace. Okay, there, I have it sitting on top. Take my thumb, push it down, but I'm going to get a uh, little penny hammer and um, try to push it down just a little bit just to make sure that it's seated correctly and then it's all the way down. So I have a little tiny ball peen hammer right here. I have a 10 millimeter quarter inch deep socket. Go ahead and put it on top of the seal right there. And give it a couple love taps. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it bottom out. So that's that. Know that the uh, valve stem seals for the exhaust are different from the intake. So just make note, if you guys go buy them, I highly recommend that you use only Honda valve stem seals. Don't use any of the other aftermarket-ish. So I've got the grease again. I'll just show this one because it's not hard. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see, uh, see you put the valves back in. In the description, I'll put uh, links to other videos I've done for the J-Series V6. I love these engines. I can't believe they quit making them. You can't get a Honda Accord with a V6 anymore. They're all going to be four-cylinder turbos. So, whatever. It's kind of crappy. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Go ahead and place it down. Whatever you do, don't cut yourself on this edge right here. It's super sharp. I have done it. Okay, as far as I can go with my fingers, bring in my socket, my tiny ball peen hammer. And there we go. Not too much, not, 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 not very much to it at all. So, all right guys, hope this has helped you out. If you can, please subscribe to Bunny's Garage, and like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.